Have you hugged your roboticist today? Happy National Robotics Week, everybody. It's time to celebrate innovation and to educate people on how important robotics are to our future. I got a chance to go to Georgia Tech and tour the robotics labs and speak with Dr. Henrik Christensen, one of the leading thinkers in robotics in the United States and one of the authors of the US Roadmap to Robotics. Here's what he had to say. Can you explain to me exactly what this roadmap, what, what's the purpose of the roadmap? So we came up with a national strategy for where are the key challenges five, 10, 15 years out, and what are the kind of research program we could put in place? So we came up with a strategy for manufacturing. What can we do to bring home jobs using robotics technology? We looked at services. How can we ensure quality of life? In healthcare, we've already seen some robots come out. It's a big deal to be able to have robots that can help us do surgery. And then we have Homeland Security, and of course we have space exploration. We've sent robots to Mars, we hope to send them to other places. You know, the United States was once a, a global leader in manufacturing. Right. And then companies discovered that it was uh, advantageous to outsource a lot of that to other countries, it was cheaper. But I read in the roadmap that one of the interesting things to me about robotics is this could potentially reverse this trend. Using automation technology, we're seeing big companies like Apple, Google, Lenovo, bringing their manufacturing back to the US because with automation, you can bring it closer to your home market. As I read in the roadmap, it actually explained that, that robotics could create more jobs than you end up losing. And it will free up a lot of the time that we today are using or in some sense wasting that will go away and we can use it on more creative things. We are replacing the unskilled labor with skilled labor. A lot of these jobs that you can sort of get straight out of high school or even before you've finished with high school will go away and they will get replaced with jobs where you get an education, but it also implies that you get a higher salary. If you were to put on a prognosticator hat and look into the future, where do you see robotics, the, the, the state of the art, in maybe five or 10 years? So I think we'll be happier people because we don't have to do a lot of the the dull things that we do in our daily lives. I, I expect that one way we're going to get there to this, to this vision of the future is once we start seeing more and more robots entering into the consumer space. I think we're gonna see massive growth in this area. And I think within the next 10 years, air freight coast to coast will be uh, pilotless. And that sort of leads to in terms of services, I think we will get to sort of the Amazon vision of when you press the button, it started to get delivered to you very, very quickly. If we look at something like autonomous driving, my uh, current prediction is that kids born today will never have to drive a car. We still have sort of the ultimate AI. How do we build the cognitive systems that can learn, acquire knowledge? You know, I would like to get sort of the universal robot where I take it on a tour of my home and says, this is the living room, this is the kitchen. And then it would be able to, the next gen, like, can you go to the kitchen and bring me back a beer? and he would do this. That's pretty cool. I think that's a great, uh, great use of science. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Is to go and grab a beer. <laughs> no, no, uh, but quality of life, you know, we're gonna have so many elderly people in terms of healthcare. We can prepare meals, we can really help them in daily life. So, so we need to be able to give them independence as they grow old. We want to thank Georgia Tech for allowing me to come out and speak with Dr. Christensen. It was a real thrill, and it leads me to a question for all of you this week. If you have ever worked with a robot or built your own, I want to know all about it. Give me all the details, and if you haven't, what kind of robot would you build if you were given the chance? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you share it with your friends, hit that little like button for me, subscribe to our channel, and once you're done with all that, check out these videos over here. I bet at least one of them is going to make you do the robot.